Hey there guys and welcome back to Star Fox Adventures. In the last part we put the Spellstone back in the Ocean Force Point Temple. And now we're gonna head back to Thorntail Hollow to uh, figure out where we're gonna go next. Because that's where Peppy told us to go and who are we to doubt Peppy's wisdom. I mean he always speaks wise words such as do a barrel roll, use bombs wisely. Press R to boost, or... No, wait, R was barrel roll. I think it was like... C up to boost and C down to break or something on the Nintendo 64? I don't know, I never played Star Fox 64 on Nintendo 64. I downloaded it on the Virtual Console. Although I did borrow it once from someone, I think. But I couldn't beat it because my Nintendo 64 controller was broken beyond repair. Thanks to Super Mario 64. I will... I have said it before and I will say it again. The Nintendo 64 had one of the worst joysticks in history. Or control sticks or whatever. They're usually called joysticks in my country. Although it could kind of sound awkward to, like, Americans. Hey, dude, have you been wiggling my control stick around lately? See, you can kind of see that as an innuendo. Not that there's anything wrong with innuendos. I mean, innuendos are freaking humorous most of the time. Alright, Lightfoot Village again, huh? Yes, we're gonna have to cross this part again. Uh, okay, what's that? Oh, it's a little baby dinosaur. Oh, the, oh crap. Are those velociraptors? They sure look like Velociraptors. Hey there, little fella. Oh, I don't like this fox. Fox, look out! It's a trap! Get him! Ouch, Fox just got crushed. That's gotta hurt. And uh, thanks for the late warning, Tricky. You're the best sidekick ever. That's the one! That's the stinking beast that took my treasure! Uh, what happened? Untie me right now! I am Chief Lightfoot, and we don't like thieves. Thief? What are you talking about? Huh. You take our treasure and give it to the stinking shop claws. Yeah, tell him, Chief. Kill the stinking pig. I didn't take your treasure. You gave it to me. Let me show you what we do to thieves. Use the flame command at the right time, and I'll help you get out of here. Ah, oh, man, Fox has been captured by the Lightfoots, because he... Remember when that stupid Lightfoot practically gave us his treasure back in Cape Claw, that glowing gemstone? Yeah, he now he's framing us for it and telling us we stole it from him, where... As he clearly gave it to Fox. Or at least willingly gave it up so the sharp claws would stop shooting at him. But yeah, this part... There's this little bar at the top of the screen. And you have to press A when the red line is within the green area. If not, the light foot will come close and stab you with a spear. Ah, crap. I'm really messing this up. Now, if you're not really that... If you have kind of slow reflexes, you'd better have a lot of buffom dads here, because if not, you're screwed. Here we go. And why does everything on this planet seem to be able to breathe fire? I mean, first Tricky, now this Cloud Runner. Hell, I wouldn't be surprised if the bloody woolly mammoths could breathe fire. Alright, and with each light foot you chase away, the thing gets narrower and narrower. So it gets more difficult as time progresses, and now it's really tiny. That's what she said. Ooh, my kidney! Yeah. Let's see, there's one, two... How many of them are left? Well, that's one less. And... Oh, I guess that's the last one. Aw, oh, look at that thing, it's so tiny! Oh, man. This might be a problem. Come on. Yeah, this is the last one. Oh, there we go. Problem solved. 
I'm such an ace at this game. Ah, 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 make the bird stop! Make it stop, and I'll untie you! Thanks for helping our queen, Fox! I'm glad I could return the favor! Thanks, pal. I don't owe you one because I already saved your queen. But still, I appreciate the gesture. Also, who the hell did the Lightfoots think they could lock up with that totem pole? I mean, sure, it could hold Fox, but what other inhabitants of this planet could they possibly hope to lock up in that thing? I mean, they sure as hell can't hook up any high tops, earth walkers, thorn tails, snow horns, cloud runners, sharp claws. Well, sharp claws might be plausible, but pretty much none of the species living on this planet seem to fit that. Maybe the Lightfoot themselves do, but why would they want to lock up one of their own? I mean, they don't seem to mind if one of their own pretty much lies to them, as evidenced by that asshole who practically gave us his treasure and then lied about it to get Fox in trouble. But anyway, in this village you will need to search for some wooden blocks. Yeah. And you stick them in these holes which are shaped like them. I have a circular block here. There should be a circular hole somewhere for me to stick it in. That's what she said. At least she has a circular hole to stick it in. If not, then it mu she might be a man. Yeah. Trannies for the win. Don't go to Thailand. Seriously. There's trannies there. Oh, boy. Just... You have to be really careful if you go to Thailand. I don't know this out of personal experience, because I've never been to any Asian country. I don't really feel the need to, to be quite honest, but I've seen it on TV. Oh, not you again! We know you didn't take our treasure, so just go away. Yeah. So, you looking for Chrysoa spirits, eh? Yes, I am. So, maybe I help you, eh? You see, we keep a secret from the Sharp Claws. Under our village is a mighty chamber. Some say it was built by the Crezor. Do you want to see for yourself, maybe? Duh! Stupid question. Of course we want to see that. Not so fast. Only if you complete the life foot test can you enter. <laughs> well, uh... they're laughing at you, Fox. You gotta do it now. But before you decide, take a look at this. Yeah, these are the two tests you need to complete in order to gain access to the Lightfoot thingy. <laughs> Let's see how strong you are. Let's do the test of strength first. Did he just punch one of his own kind? Wow, that dude's a dick. Alright, this is pretty much you mash A like crazy. You know, you've played things like this before. And you can pretty much beat him in a few seconds. So Fox is bloody Superman. He is that awesome. Well done, Fox. You have beaten our strongest Lightfoot. You know what I don't really understand? I mean, Fox is trying to save their planet. Why must all these dinosaurs give him such a hard time trying to do it? I mean, he just practically waltzed in there saying, I'm looking for Crusoe spirits to save the planet. Or save Crystal or whatever. And what do they do? They just kind of give him the frickin' middle finger. Yes, they can do that. They have three fingers, so there's always a middle one. Now, if they were T-Rexes and would only have two fingers, then they can't give him the middle finger, because there's no middle finger when there's only two fingers. If that makes sense. I mean, it's like, oh, first you need to complete the holy tests of our tribe. But, dude, if I don't 
get that thing and save your planet, you won't have a tribe anymore. It's like, see the bigger picture here, bloody Lightfoots. And it's not just the Lightfoots, there's a crap ton of other tribes that have you go through some kind of ritual first. I mean, like the Cloud Runner Queen with, go search for my children and then you will gain access to the, uh, the treasure chamber. Like, what if we hadn't found all of her children? She wouldn't have led us into the treasure chamber, we would never got the spellstone, and the planet would have been doomed. It's like, all these dinosaurs have a real problem with seeing the bigger picture of things. And Fox is supposed to save their ungrateful asses. Uh, let's see. Feet tricky, because I think we're going to need him for some stuff here. And there's a bunch of shrooms here, so I can pretty much immediately refill my supply. Ah, you're not escaping. I'm not letting a single shroom out of my sight. There we go, Tricky. Light it up. Like the 4th of July. Okay, wait for the fire to go out. Don't want to set Fox on fire again. Because then he'd be Fire Fox. I didn't even use Fire Fox. I prefer Internet Explorer. Although I've never really given Firefox a try, but I don't really feel the need to. Because quite simply, Internet Explorer does everything I want it to do. So, no need for anything else. And I think that's all of them. You need three blocks. You have the circular one, the square one, and the triangle. I already put the circular one in there. So that only leaves two to go. Now all I need to do is get up there and find the right hole to stick him in. Oh man. Innuendo up the ass. Now, square thingy and triangle thingy. That one's already plugged. Triangle. Alright, there we go. Stick it in there. And just like with the previous one, a bunch of stepping stones will rise from the water. Now you will need to do all of these, like stick them in there, before you go and do the second test. Just trust me. If you don't raise all those stepping stones, you will not be able to complete the second test. So it is vital that you search out those blocks and place them back where they belong, so you can pretty much do the test without having to worry about anything. Because quite frankly... They once again give you a way to roomy time limit. Like you don't need half the time that they give you, usually. Activate all four totem pole before time runs out. Go! Yeah, I'm sure that by now you will have seen those totem poles standing around the city. You just need to find them all and stick your staff in them and flip the switch to activate them all quite easy and you have plenty of time to do it in so here's the first one flip it these little wings pop out uh, let's see where's the next one I don't think the one you were tied to counts as one or maybe it does but I'll save that one for later um, also you can kind of see them on the mini map they are marked by red dots so there's one over here. Now that makes it really easy, but if you haven't bought the map to Lightfoot Village from the Thorntail store, you might be in a bit of a situation. Although you can still just see him with the naked eye, perfectly fine. And here's another one. See, I'm already three quarters done in less than half the time. And the final one is over here. Yeah, you don't need the one you were tied on to. Now this one is just climb the wall. See, I'm pretty much done with like a minute to spare. They give you way too much time for this. Alright, and flip it. There we go. Now, you'd better give me that Krizoa spell. Spirit right now, mister. <laughs> well done, Fox. You have completed the tracking test. Very good. <laughs> huh. Well done, Fox. 
You are now honorary member of Tribe. Alright, so in the next part of Star Fox Adventures, we'll go for the next Krozoa Spirit. Thanks for watching, bye bye.